Hello, everyone. Um, you know, usually I will wear every anime shirt and talk about it, talk about an episode. But in this episode, it's completely different. You see, <clears throat> this episode of Rent a Girlfriend, season three, episode nine. You know, this episode really took a toll for people. You know, going back to season one up till now, people have dropped the series. People have dropped the series because everybody is taking this series like, oh, not seriously. Like, it's too long of a rom-com to a point that we're just dropping the series off. Rent a Girlfriend has given us a lot of waifu war showdowns. The Chizuru fans of the world, the mommy fans of the world, the Rukas, the Sumis, the Meanies. And we always make jokes about it or get serious about it in terms of like who's best girl, who's the worst girl, you know. And we always talk about Kazuya this, Kazuya's dad, when is Kazuya gonna do this, when he's gonna do that. We always question these characters. We always do that. And I and for fan, I mean for people who's watching Rent the Girlfriend, we're forgetting that there's so many emotions that we've that with that that we're forgetting. Now, this season of Rent the Girlfriend, it's I get where y'all coming from. Y'all wanna stop this. But guys, this is why I don't stop collecting Rent the Girlfriend volumes. This is why. The emotions that these characters are going through and the development that is going to come along the way, it's there. Now, Rent the Girlfriend, throughout the three seasons, I ain't going to spoil it from the manga because I read the latest chapter. I'm not going to spoil it, anybody. From the anime standpoint, Rent the Girlfriend has given us not only waifu wars, but there are some happy moments. Some were, set, um, some were happy moments. Some moments that makes us, like, there were fan service moments. And, you know, all those things. But this right here, guys, I'm dead serious. I was getting emotional watching this. And the thing is, it's like I knew this was coming because I read this chapter already. But this right here, put it in an anime version of it, really... really did it to me so let's talk about this episode guys episode review of season three episode nine so you know it's let's start off with this going back to what i said rent the girlfriend has given us happy moments and fan service moments moments that makes us want to say what the fuck kazuya Moment that makes us want to say, good job, Kazuya. Moments that we have episodes, like if there's a Mami episode, a Chizuru, Ruka, or even a Sumi episode, we all praise on it. We all praise. And in this case, it's not. So you guys know how last week went when Grandma Sari, uh, Sariguri collapsed. And Chizula was heartbroken to see that. Um, Kazuya, you know, here's the, th here's the thing, guys. Kazuya. We can't hate Kazuya for the moment. I understand Kazuya has done some pretty messed up things. We can't ignore that. But this is one step closer to like Kazuya's growth. You know, Kazuya do have some moments, but his growing as a character is getting there. So when Chizu saw her grandma in the hospital, you know, crying, all that stuff, because this is the first, it, it's been so long since we see Chizu in tears. You know what I mean? I It's been so long. And for Kazuya, Kazuya knew what's, what's happening not not knew what happening but it felt like 
He didn't want to be left out. So what he did is he went inside the hospital room, put on a projector, and just watch have have her grand have Jesus grandma watch it watch it in her room and he just left without saying a word he just left that room and he just sat down there Kazia got the that is growth as it is he's been growing since from season 1 from jacking off now he's out he's being serious and if y'all don't see the growth of Kazuya, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with y'all. I don't want y'all to hate this guy anymore. He ain't the ultimate F-boy. If you think about that, he ain't the ultimate F-boy. But that's not the point. It's Chizuru. You have to understand, Chizuru lost her grandpa. Now, it's her grandma. And it's so sad to see this. I mean, we got so many... Full, we got so many... Um, flashbacks and so many emotions in this season that we understand as a character why he or she is who they are. And for Chizuru, you know, her backstory with her grandma, it's very touching. It's very touching. And even though, and Chizuru's crying because she, you know, remember back in season one, she did lie, she lied to both the grandmas, both Charlene and Kazuya's grandma about about them pretending to be a, a couple. And with that moment, she she said, Grandma Sari said, it's you lied? Oh, it's not a problem. I just want you to be happy. Well, not, not her words, but in my words. It's, it's like, for her, it's you lied, but that's okay. I just want you to be happy. I want you to be happy to the fullest. It is so sad to see her. It is so sad. I, 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 for all y'all who hate Rented Girlfriend, don't hate Rented Girlfriend. For all y'all who dropped this series, don't drop this effing series. Please don't. And in that moment where um, she hugged Chizuru, it was so impactful so impactful guys you can't even can't even be serious like here's the thing it's like i said before i read this chapter i knew like i read this chapter i got teary eyes just reading it but watching it on this watching it watching it on crunchyroll watching it on crunchyroll and a teary eye and crying on it like damn Damn, that hit me. Damn, it did. This, the music for that fits perfectly with her last words, with Grandma Suri's last words, and it's just there. And she was crying, saying, I love you, Grandma. It's it's really impactful. Oh, my God. It's really, it's really teary just to see that. It really was. And then when... um. Chizu came out and Kazuya was all like, I'm here for you no matter what. Chizu turned around, she said, I'm fine. But the way how, see, that's the thing, you gotta pay attention to these things. The way how it went down, the way how she said it, she said it like she doesn't, she said it in her perfect girlfriend mode. This not the real, this ain't the Chizu. You see, how do I put this? When it comes to depths, guys, it's always that moment when you're like, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance. She's who is in that state of perfect girlfriend in denial. She don't want to admit that. She don't want to. So, but deep down, she is heartbroken. Deep down, she is heartbroken. Like, you got to remember this. Like I said, she lost her grandpa. Now she, now she lost her grandma. The, bet, the two most supporting characters in her life are now gone. Now, she's crying now. Minnie was crying and all that. And I'll tell you right now, yeah. Um, so, but 
they went to her funeral and Kazuya's grandma, you know, brave enough as it is, brave enough as she is, she didn't even cry. All she, she was like, we gotta go. She told Shizu, if you need anything, I'm here for you. And the fact that, the fact that she said, I will see my friends soon. You know, you could say that's a red flag, but she gonna see her best friend soon. That moment made me cry because I did not, I just, again, I read it, but seeing it and like this, it's just, it's just impactful. I was getting emotional, man. <laughs> but that's, that's what this is. And now, Kazuya is going to do whatever he can to make Chizu feel more welcome than ever. And next week's episode is one of those things where just like, you know, I, from a guy who read it, I'm pretty sure he's going to call him one person, the one person to give him advice. And I ain't going to tell you who, but we all know who he's going to be. We all know what's going to happen. But overall, overall, this episode was, of all the moments in Rent a Girlfriend, this right here is the saddest, saddest, saddest moment in Rent a Girlfriend history. One would argue that this will be, this is the saddest episode, I mean saddest moment in anime history, I understand people have seen a lot of sad deaths in anime. I get that. The Ace, Maze Hughes, Grave of the Fireflies, Jiraiya's death. I, I get that. Kono Sensei, I get all of that. You're not wrong. But if you guys were to sit down and just watch Rent a Girlfriend, not because of the wrong, just sit down and look at it and watch it. You understand that this is really, really emotional. This season of Rent a Girlfriend, it's so freaking crazy that all this is not just comedy though. This is this season, we're this season they're putting everything on the line. Every emotion, all the emotions is in this. And that's what they did. This has been an emotional roller coaster and this is one of them <sighs> grandma so, so sorry you know you'll be missed but the i will say one thing though one thing she's in she's there with her husband and that's that's something we want she's there for she's she's there with her husband and they're both watching down with jesus can't okay, cry. I'm trying not to cry, but mm -hmm. but that's that. Okay, so but next week is gonna be one of those episodes where someone is gonna be Kazuya's guardian angel in terms of what can we do to get Chizu, you know, break, and this is it. So, guys, like I said, please sit down and just watch Rachel Girlfriend. Do not leave this show so i look forward for well i'm not saying look forward but we all know so next week we'll see where this goes and uh like i said rest in peace grandma sorry so see you next week